Right, um, what was I going to... Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, we lived on a council estate. And uh, on this estate, there was a, a veil of shops. And the, the shop on the end was a, a fish and chip shop. And it was kept by a bloke named Dennis Rudge. Now, everybody called him Rudgey. I, I never went in there a lot. Uh, man, I, I don't suppose we could afford fish anyway, but... Anyway, we grow our own taters, and I prefer my mother's chips to these anyway. They're much better, in my opinion. But, <coughs> Roger, everybody called him Roger. So everybody called him Roger. He served on the local council. And uh, he wasn't much loved by the, you know, the, the people on the estate. But he got this reputation for getting things done. If they've got a problem, you know, they go and see him and take it up with the council. And I remember being in there one uh, day and a guy come in and he says, can I have a word, Roger? And, and Roger said, coming into my office and he opened the door at the back, you know, and me being a, a nose and so we are having a good look around. But what's that? He's like, buckets of taters and chips and fish and stuff like that in there. And I thought, that's it, you ain't got an office in there for years, you know. I wonder about this office, you know, because everybody says that now. You, know, you see one that tells the farmers say, in the middle of the field, they say, this is my office, you know, or steeple jack up on the scaffold, this is my office, you know. But at the time, you know, I just couldn't figure it out. But uh, anyway, Roger was made the mayor of Rowley Regis. And uh, I don't know how old he was, I don't think he was that old, but part way through his term, he died. And there was a big funeral, it was like a state funeral, you know. Uh, yeah, you've got to go down the road to the cemetery, but anyway, his family figured that like being, you know, a prominent person in the, in the community, he ought to have a tombstone that fitted it. So they ordered this, t it was enormous. Absolutely, you know, ridiculous it was. But anyway, the blows come to fit this tombstone and it's got to be concreted in. It was that heavy. Big. So, when they concreted in, they was worried it might fall over before the concrete went off. Well, that would be a, a telegraph pole handy. So, they fastened a cable from the telegraph pole to the top of this stone to hold it in place while the concrete went off. Well, word got out about this uh, monument, and that weekend everybody turned up to have a look at it. Hundreds of them, they all turned up. And amongst them was Aenok and Aylon. <coughs> well, you see, they'd served on the council with Roger, and they said, well, they'd come to pay their respects, you see. But really, they'd come to poke the nose. Well, they stood there looking at this monument, and, and Aylon noticed this cable coming down from the telegraph pole to the top of this monument and he nudges his mate he says hey he says how about that did I take him long to get the phone put in did it <laughs> <laughs>